Today we had the hearing over the English Language Unity Act, H.R. 997, which is the bill that I've introduced in Congress to establish English as the official language of the United States of America. You know, it's necessary that we do this. Uh, every other country that I can think of has at least one official language. And almost all the population of the world has an official language. Immigrants that come here into America expect that English is the official language of the United States and are often surprised that it's not. But the circumstances are this, and that is that President Clinton issued an executive order, 13166, back in the 90s, that compels the government agencies to essentially promote multilingualism by providing interpreters and services in whatever language might be requested by whoever shows up at whatever government office. We are spending billions on interpreters and, and on multiple printings. We need to have one common form of communications currency, and that's English in this country, and we're very fortunate that it is English. And so there's something seems to be wrong with this, that we're spending 40, or borrowing 40 cents out of every dollar that we are spending, and a lot of that's coming from foreign countries. And you'll hear in the streets of Iowa and across America that we're borrowing money from the Saudis, we're borrowing money from the Chinese, and we're using that borrowed money to hire interpreters in languages that come from all of the places in the world, all places in the world. And as those interpretations are taking place, we're spending unnecessary money, borrowed money, to help people access government services in their language so that we can understand how to, I guess say, go further into debt. It's wrong to do that. H.R. 997 fixes that and a lot of other things and brings us together as one people.